So today, what we're going to do is the NL Central Super Team. In the top right-hand corner is the last Super Team we did. We did the New York teams, so the Mets and the Yankees. And in the comment section down below, I want you guys to tell me what would be your NL Central Super Team. Go ahead, list it down in the comment section down below, as well as let me know which video you would like to see next. I'll definitely try to pick one of your guys' ideas. I've seen a lot of NL Central comments, so I figured I'd bring that to you guys. In the description down below is all my social media links, Twitter, Instagram. Go and give those a follow. And if you guys need tickets for any sort of event whatsoever, concerts, sporting events, whatever it is, go to SeatGeek, use the code ANTORTEES for $20 off. Other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Make sure you turn on bell notification icons so you're notified whenever a video does go live. Hit the like button like I've mentioned. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Let's hop into this video. This team's really nice. All right, so let's take a look at this team because there were some players that definitely missed out. So let's talk about it. Trevor Bauer, obviously a new red. Kyle Hendricks, Luis Castillo, Yu Darvish, and Jack Flaherty. Sonny Gray, I really wanted to throw in there. I really did. He had a phenomenal year. He was really the one pitcher that missed out. I decided to go with Yu Darvish instead just because of the way he finished his year. And Yu Darvish, I think it's just a, a little bit better of a pitcher. But Sonny Gray, like... Don't take it away from him. He had a phenomenal year. So that's going to be our starting five. Jack Flaherty probably should be the ace of this rotation. Um, but, I mean, it's still a really strong starting five. When we move over to the bullpen, this is where it got a little tough because there definitely were some names that I missed out on. And the bullpen for the central, it was either really good or you were really bad. There was like no in between for the bullpen. So Steve Ciszek is gonna be like the one Cub representative. He was like the most consistent out of all of them. But for the most part, the Cubs bullpen was trash. And that's coming come, like coming from a Cubs fan. We were garbage. But Steve Ciszek, he was okay. Jordan Hicks, before he went down with his injury and he's a young up and coming, really good reliever, I decided to go with him, give him a shot. Keone Kella was probably one of the bright spots in the Pittsburgh uh, bullpen. There was another one. There was actually one or two others that looked pretty good, but I decided to go with Kayla. Carlos Martinez had himself a pretty solid, pretty solid season. Um, obviously was a little shaky in that game against the Braves the other night, but for the most part, had himself a good year as that like kind of closer. Amir Garrett had a good year. Giovanni Gallegos had a really solid year. I missed out on Michael Lorenzen, Drew Pomeranz, um, even Brandon Kinsler for the Cubs was an okay option, but I decided these were the best guys for the bullpen. Closer, Josh Hader. Yes, he had his rough patches throughout the season, but I felt Josh Hader was the best option for the Cardinals. There's obviously another pitcher for the Pirates that we're not going to name who isn't making the list, but that's for obvious reason. So let's move to the catchers. I thought Yasmani Grandal and not this guy. He can leave. Um, oh, he's on waivers. Anyways, so we have Grandal and Contreras. These two guys are our catchers. They were probably the best in the National League this year. Like they were amazing catchers this season. Yes, I know. Yachty, but these two guys, hands down, best catchers. First base, Goldschmidt and Josh Bell. Anthony Rizzo had a phenomenal season, but I think these two guys took the cake at first base. Josh Bell had a really rough second half, but if you can find that form he had in the first half, I think you got a, a really solid first base, uh, first baseman in Pittsburgh. Second base, Colton Wong, Keston Hira, Hira, Keston Hira. So these two guys actually had really good years. Keston looks unreal it looks like you got a second baseman in milwaukee for the foreseeable future and i skipped out on adam frazier and jose peraza they both had great years as well the cubs really didn't have a second baseman so i wasn't even considering any of those options but second base was probably the toughest position to pick between wong hira peraza and frazier it was a really it was a toss-up but i went with these two in the end third base chris bryant eugenio suarez i think suarez is the top third baseman in the central right now had a great year chris bryant right behind him really strong season for both of these guys Baez is the shortstop. There are definitely some other options. Paul DeYoung, he, he actually struggled this year. I wanted to put him in there, but he struggled. Uh, Kevin Newman was a decent option for the Pirates. Um, and there's a couple other names, but you got to go with Baez as short. Left field, Brian Reynolds looks like a star in Pittsburgh. It looks like they've definitely got some young pieces to work around, and he had a great year. There's Marcelo Zuna, Kyle Schwarber, but Brian Reynolds took the cake. Center field, Starling Marte had himself a really solid season, so I decided to go with him. In right field, we have Yelich and Castellanos. They definitely were the star right fielders in the central this year yes there's hayward um i meant i forgot to mention left field for ryan braun he had a good year but i think these two guys right here for sure are definitely our right fielders so that's the team um we'll take a quick look at the lineup 
I definitely want to try to get these guys mixed in as we go, but I mean, the lineup looks stacked. Like it is a scary good lineup. You can't go wrong with it. And then obviously the pitching rotation, we'll, we'll, we'll mix them up here and there as the season goes on. But this is kind of what we're working with. I really like it. Only one lefty or two lefties, but it's still a really solid team. Um, it could potentially push the, the California team for, you know, the best super team. So let's see how it pans out. We'll sim a season. If it doesn't go too well, we'll try a second season. I'll see you guys at the end of this one. Alrighty, so this is actually the third team. Like, they're not as good as California. And they're not as good as New York. 101 wins, 61 losses. We won the division, which, I mean, is good. But it's, a, it's our third ranked team. So maybe we just keep doing this as a series where we do the divisions or do state teams and we just do a season. We just kind of rank them and see how things went. We only had one award. It was a gold glove. MVP went to Bellinger. Cy Young went to Bumgarner, Marcakis, Trevor Gott. You guys could see them. We did have a couple league leaders. Only one, actually. Chris Bryant had the most or the best war. Interesting. So let's take a look at the standings, see where we ranked. We're first in ranking the only thing that we're not first in is power and we're second and to think we only won 101 games so the astros won 120 i mean we were the third team in terms of wins so things weren't like amazing maybe we had a couple ties based on what some things that i saw let me let me take a look because it's all i saw some of our our pitchers were up there so yeah we had we had a tie for like second for losses we tied for wins, so we didn't get the league leader for that. I don't understand why that's a that's a glitch in franchise. We clearly had a league leading stat for wins. We also had a league leading stat for saves. Like I don't understand why we're not getting those those stats being told to us for league leaders. So I'm glad I saw that. Let's take a look at league rankings as I hit my mic. We got fourth for batting average, um, runs we were fourth as well, hits third um triples we were second so overall i'm looking at these stats and we're we're in the top for a lot of categories but um it, it something just didn't click or maybe we just got unlucky i mean the astros run 120 which is unreal so maybe it was just one of those random things where we just just weren't as good uh this time around trevor bauer had a really good year those are cy young caliber stats same with kyle hendricks those are really good numbers. I know his strikeout numbers aren't amazing, but still very good. Castillo struggled a bit. Darvish struggled a bit. Jack Flaherty. There we go. That's uh, looking pretty solid. Carlos Martinez, very good in that long relief role. Jordan Hicks struggled a bit. Keone Kella struggled a bit. Amir Garrett was solid. Gallegos was pretty good. Um, Steve Ciszek was solid. And then Josh Hader was good as well. Let's take a look at his stats. Nine blown saves, a little high. But for the most part, pretty happy with the pitching rotation. A couple meh stats, but for the most part, pretty solid. So Eugenio Suarez was pretty good off the bench for the most part. Contreras, Colton Wong, and Starling Marte. I did switch up the lineup a bit from what I showed you guys just because I felt like that was a little bit better team to put out for this sim. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I should have went with like a Colton Wong or a Starling Marte starting in center. Maybe that's what I should have done. Um, so Brian Reynolds was in center. Then we have Yelich, who had a great year. Chris Bryant had a very good year. Paul Goldschmidt had a good year. Baez was solid. Josh Bell was more of a bench bat. So, you know, in his plate appearances, pretty solid. Castellanos did well. Grandal did well. And Hira did well. So, to be honest, I don't know realistically what we could have done differently offensively. Maybe started Colton Wong. I mean, for the most part, everybody put up really comparable numbers for our team. And I feel like we put a really strong lineup together really the only I, I i don't think we really could have swapped out anybody and it would have been much different maybe starling Marte is the only difference that i would have done but for the most part team looks really good let's hop into the uh the postseason we're taking on the phillies and um this was a team that actually did give us trouble in the regular season so if we lost i wouldn't be surprised for some reason we just couldn't win a series against the phillies so I guess we'll give it to you, Darvish, and see what happens. Alrighty, let's do this. Brian Reynolds is going to lead us off with a flyout. Christian Yelich is going to get a single. We got two back-to-back -back singles. And we get one run in, at least. So that's a good start. We get we did, we do get a run. So let's keep going. You, Darvish, looks kind of weird in his photo for this game. But um, things are looking pretty solid. I didn't even look at their lineup. Looks like a standard Phillies lineup. Tie ball game. And uh, bases loaded, one out. We do get one run. 
no runs after that. And then it's a tie ball game thanks to Jay Bruce, which is a little bit unfortunate. So can we at least get more? This is like a Cubs outing for Darvish. Pitches well, but no run support at all. So I'm going to see if I can sneak one more out. Maybe not. No, we're done. Uh, we're going to go to our lefty. He's going to get the out there. We're just going to we're just going to do that. And then we're going to go to Kayla. Boom. Perfect. All right. Solid. I was a little worried. Brian Reynolds. There we go. We gets a gets a hit there. And then first and second, no outs. We got to take advantage of that, right? We do. We did. We do get a two run lead and it's looking good. Kayla is looking a little, little, little troublesome right now. Go to Gallegos. He gets us the out. Perfect. So far, so good. Double play. That was huge. And heading into the ninth, we have a two, three run lead. Okay. And, uh, Let's just go to our closer hater and hopefully he shuts the door for us. He does. Perfect. So we're going to head to game five, hopefully not get eliminated and things sh should be all hunky dory going forward. So Bush Bush Stadium, we're going to go to. I really want Trevor Bauer to start the next game and we're just going to we're going to go with Luis Castillo. Hopefully we don't get rocked here. Hopefully things go well for us. We didn't score there. That's very disappointing. Very disappointing. First and second one out though. Moves over the runners. Can't score there either. So that's two two innings. Two innings with runners in scoring position. And we're down three nothing now. So we had opportunities to get runs back. We just didn't take advantage of them. It's four to one now, which is a little disappointing. Luis Castillo's done. Um, I should have pinch hit for him there. All right, now you're done. Sorry, bud. Um, let's go to Carlos Martinez. He gets us the out. Perfect. So we get, okay, four to two ball game, four to three ball game. A little interesting now. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get that one run back. We just need one more. Um, we're going to pinch hit. Got the righty on the mound. We'll go to Wong. Flies out. Okay, we get that run back. There we go. And we actually take the lead. That's huge. Perfect. All right, so we got the lefty. We'll go Amir Garrett. Of course, he gets on um who do we go to here maybe jordan hicks double play perfect all right so far so good jordan hicks pitched well that inning it was a pretty quick inning perfect and uh we won we won i didn't want to leave jordan hicks in but i kind of got in a groove i felt it i felt like things were going well and this is why i left the the rotation the way it was so taking on the dodgers we lose we win, we lose, we lose, and we're facing elimination. Perfect. Ah, man, something about this team. Something about this team just isn't clicking. Um, let's go to Trevor Bauer. Let's just, let's have faith in him this game that he's going to do well. So I have faith as I say that. Maybe we should have went to a lefty. Do we even have a lefty? We don't have a lefty, I don't think. That, that may have been something I should have thought about. Maybe having a lefty in the starting rotation would have been a smart option, but... First and second, no outs, tie ball game, take the lead. Chris Bryant gives us a four run lead, makes it a five run lead and things are going pretty well. Ooh, that was a good inning for us. Love it. Let's keep going. Let's keep piling it on 10 to one. Ooh, I love it. Let's keep going forward. And to, I was gonna say, and to be honest, we probably could simulate a little bit of this game just because, oh, 10 to seven, huh? I was going to say, we could simulate a little bit of this game. Things are going well. It's a 10-day ball game now. This is a, a little interesting. All right. Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's keep it a little, let's keep it a little chill here. Things are getting a little out of hand. Um, a double. Can we get at least like one more insurance run? No. All right. We're going to go to Hater. Perfect timing with all the lefties coming up. Double play. Boom. Tie. Whew. I was going to say tie. Tied series, but it's not. Um, we went with Trevor Bauer there, so he's not going to pitch this game. Um, yeah, Ooh, we didn't go Trevor Bauer. Did we go Trevor Bauer? I don't remember now. Yeah, we did go Trevor Bauer. I'm losing my head. Uh, we're going to go Kyle Hendricks versus Walker Bueller. And uh, we're going to take it by half inning unless things get out of hand. Just kind of see how things go. All right, so they did get one run. We did not. One run, I mean, is nothing. So, I mean, we just... Okay, two runs. It's getting a little crazy. Ooh, tie ball game. Okay, so now we'll, we'll we'll start to play here. As I do that, we allow two runs. So we're gonna take out Kyle Hendricks. Um, we're facing the lefties. 
the run does get in. So we're down three, which is a little disappointing. Goldschmidt gets us back one. First and third. Can you get us that sack fly? You can't. The one time I try to do a sack fly, it comes back to haunt us. Bases are loaded. Gallegos gets us almost out of that. All right, three run ball game. We're going to pitch hit. We're going to go to Suarez. He gets on. Okay. I like that. Um, maybe pinch run. Colton Wong's got some speed, but he is our only lefty technically. So let's bring in Marte. Strikes out in a double play. So I guess the whole hey, let's use a <laughs> let's use our uh left our speed guy didn't really help us and a run score. So four runs, we're down to our last two innings, and uh things aren't looking too good. Things are looking a little rough here. And uh, we're, we're down to our last last half inning. And there's an out. There's an out. We're going to pinch hit. We're going to go to Josh Bell. And we're done. That, that's really disappointing. And I want to do another season, but we haven't done other seasons for other teams. So I kind of want to do that one season challenge where we just kind of do one season, see how it goes, and just kind of rank them. So this is technically the third best team um, in terms of wins playoff performance we did get a little bit farther than the new york team i think or at least tied but for the most part pretty disappointed um that california team was just unreal uh i think the pitching really let us down in this in this uh this super team i felt like i felt like i went with the top the, the best pitchers but maybe just not for a sim style franchise so unfortunately that's how it's gonna end guys it may have not have been the best i know it was a little disappointing i know we probably could have gone with a couple of different options in the bullpen as well but that's how things go sometimes they don't go the way it is planned so i hope you guys enjoyed today's super team make sure you guys subscribe hit that bell notification icon hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video comment your nl central super team and also let me know future videos you would like to see and i'll catch you all in the next video peace